Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and I'm coming to you with part number four of our pillow. Yay! And <laughs> that is attaching the two sides to each other. Oh, I hope I can get it all. I'm trying to get it all in frame, but it's not working. That is attaching the two sides together and popping your buttons on. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it's sewn up right here along these edges and it's sewn up on both sides okay and then you see some threads at the back because i haven't weaved them in yet <laughs> and then we popped the buttons on here okay if you are joining us new and you would like to do this particular pillow front then um don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so that you can receive further tutorials in your inbox and also um this part from here to here i believe is part one from here to here is part two that's part three and this section here is part four all of the links to this pillow front or back depending on where you want to put your pillow will be in the description box down below so don't stress you haven't missed out too much guys this is only one side of the pillow we are going to do the next side in part five but in the meantime we are now going to complete part four of this pillow so let's get started so what you will need you will need your scissors yes you will you will need your sewing needle and you will need it for two things you will need it to sew up the side seams there and to sew up the side seams there you will also need it to pop through one of your buttons to check to see if your needle fits okay pop it through one of the little holes there and it fits okay if you don't have one of those you can't sew your buttons on now you will need five of the buttons because we've already put five button holes on the pillow cover now if you've done four then only four or three whatever you've done but i've put five button holes on you will need four stitch markers now you can use stitch markers or you can use uh, paper clips or you can use thread whatever you want to use in your stash you can use but i have the stitch markers here and i've got different colors and different types just to show you there's a difference between some uh, I do prefer the closed ones, okay, I don't like these ones here very much, they tend to fall off, but that's neither here nor there because we're going to work on it straight away. So, the first thing you need to do is focus on, and I know guys, you're going to hate this, the math, the maths of this whole cover. It's all about counting, if you mess up the counting, um, forget it. <laughs> I know, yours truly has done it quite often, I've messed up the counting, but today I have it correct. I counted the cluster sets across here and mine add up to 27 and I'll show you what I mean by counting so you can count them. See these cluster sets right here? There's one and two and three and so on and mine add up to 27. I wasn't going to count that in front of you because I didn't want to waste your time. Now you need to have 27 across there and 27 across there. I do. I don't know how many you did there and there but they they sort of have to be even to match this side now to match the other parts together now again by the way guys there is no way um, there is no right or wrong way of putting your pillow cover this is a corner to corner stitch now corner to corner stitches we started this way and then we turned our work and we did it that way and so on and so on and so on so it doesn't matter how you put it so long as it looks consistent okay I am not fast I'm going to leave both corners where the thread flips flips kind of up towards me if you haven't got that thread flipping up then you just have to look at your first double crochets that you did in that corner they're both the same anyway so I wouldn't stress too much about it I didn't with my other pillow that's in the vlog by the way if you want to see you're new to the channel and want to see the vlog uh, with the pillow in full um, I will pop the links to that vlog in the description box down below so you can see the pillow in full all right now uh, we're going to get started all right so you've got 27 along there 27 along there so really you should have 27 along there okay so what you need to do is count your cluster sets across here I've already counted mine so that adds up to be about 22 so really all I need to do is 22 23 24 25 26 27 so I need to pop that I'll show you what I mean there you go 
So you've got the, the beginning of that right there, right there. Okay, because that's our single crochet, but that's that right there. Whoops, I've lost my 27. Three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And then the other side of the stitch marker goes through that 27th, the one that we counted. I hope that makes sense. Then you go one, two, three, four, five. Count back. One, two, three, four, five. Grab another stitch marker. Pop it through there. And then pop it through the top of the other side. And there you go. Now, if you counted correctly, you would have 27 across there. So I've already got my 22 right there, which adds up to be right there. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right. So that adds up. Now you need to do the same on the other side. Okay. So go ahead and do the same on the other side. And then meet me up and get ready for weaving in our sides. All right, so there's my other part done right there. So now our pillow cover is together like so. So what we want to do is grab our needle. Okay. Find one side. Now, if you're anything like me, you'd have a gazillion ends everywhere. You can use these ends to do this part. Okay. Or... You can just grab a little piece of yarn from your tutorials that you started with and use that. But I'm going to use the threads that I have. Now, I'm trying and I'm hoping that this is clear because yours truly um, did decide to use grey <laughs> when I first decided to do the tutorial. And that, that wasn't a good idea because grey and my little um, mat there it's like a blue gray so it's kind of very similar so what you need to do very easy easy this part guys easy easy all right so there it is now this thread is already attached to this okay you can actually do this part any way you like because we are going to be crocheting over that eventually anyway so this has already got a thread there so I'm just going to pop the thread back in there and through all thicknesses so don't stress how you are weaving this, not weaving, don't stress how you are sewing this together. It doesn't matter. It's actually, the only reason we're doing this is to keep it together so that we can pop the buttons on and then later it can be sewn together. Okay? Not sewn together. And then later it can be crocheted together. All right? So just go in and out and it doesn't have to be close. It can be as far apart as you want it to be. It doesn't matter because we're going to crochet over it as well. Now, it's very, very thick this later. It will be thick. We probably could have done less rows along there, okay? You could have actually used a different colour to sew this up with, um, just so that you can see where to crochet over it later, but I didn't want it to be noticeable, so I'm using the same colour. Again, no right or wrong way of doing this. It's just to keep it together for later when we crochet over it. Okay. It's my favourite thing to make um, are the mood pillows. It's true, guys. It is my very favourite thing to make um, when it comes to household items. The mood pillow is my favourite thing to make. Yeah, I make others. I mean, I like making blankets and um, you take that out now. There, I like making blankets and um, oh, I don't know, there are many, many items around the house, but this is actually my very favorite thing to make. And because it's my favorite, famous mood pillow, and I say my famous mood pillow because it's something that I've discovered for myself, I like to have. Uh, decor in the mood that I'm in I know I know I'm a little bit funny a little bit strange it's okay everybody has their <laughs> their little um, quirks and that one is mine all right now come through to the other side all right I've gone through over that so we're going to go back over it just to keep it in place you don't have to go all the way through just a little bit through all right and that'll do I think and then just pass through 
one more time pop it through the threads here as though you are weaving it in okay we're not going over and over and over again we don't need to it's just to keep it in place until we crochet over it really that's all this sewing is okay I'm going to go back the other way we want to weave it in properly we don't want to lose the ends and I think we're done so if you keep crocheting over it what's going to happen is or sewing over it sorry what's going to happen is when you're ready to crochet over it it's going to be far too thick for your hook okay and that side's done now we're going to do the other side so what I want you to do guys so you don't have to sit here and watch me do it do the other side and then meet me up and we will sew these buttons on here we are at the end of our sides both sides are joined one's joined there and one's joined there I may have got a little bit too far down at least when you put your buttons on um, it won't pull and you won't have like this gap in there okay if you put them on and it's really tight it'll pull a little bit and you won't see a gap okay but it shouldn't this should be perfect guys all right now grab your buttons or one at least now do you remember where we put our button holes let me get a nice little close-up here so that's your buttonhole right there okay just pop this guy right here for a minute just so you can see that buttonhole you don't need to it's not necessary I'm just gonna thread our needle right there okay all right so there's your buttonhole making sure your pillow is nice and flat grab me a little pin or needle measure it up right there stick your pin through the other side that's where the button is that's where your buttonhole is right there and so that is where your button is going to go your very first button is going to go right there all right now don't have to pull all the threads through leave the bottom threads there because you're going to use those two to uh, tie them in a knot there's your two threads under there okay leave them there we're going to tie them in a knot and sew them in weave them in later all right in the meantime we're going to get our button pop it in right there and we're done okay don't pull too much out remember we still need those threads here if it helps you probably might benefit to actually tie that in a knot now right there one and two if you don't like knots and you're not going to see them because it's at the other side it's at the back of your work so it'll be in there you won't see those knots okay so you pull that through there go through the other side back through right there easy so far very easy so just find a spot at the back now you want to go through a part on button that you haven't gone through yet I would go there okay reason being is you can it doesn't matter it doesn't really matter just be careful about your threads there it doesn't really matter as long as you fill in all the four gaps here now I'm going to go back down there the other side this is where it's going to start getting thicker guys and it might struggle to go through <laughs> all right there you go now we're going to do the same we're going to go back in through the other way through the very last buttonhole there all right see where I am okay we're going to go through there like so oh very fiddly and then your very last buttonhole right there okay one more see how there's one side missing we're going to fill that side up oops there we go all right there we are last one goes in there and we are officially done Except it's nice and thick now and I can't get it through so we're going to cut that all right pop your needle over there 
turn this this way and tie that one in knot as well but you're not finished there guys you need to weave those ends in all right now the best thing you do to weave them in don't weave them down that way weave them towards the thickness part of your pillow and the reason being is it gets covered by that side of the pillow anyway so or you can weave it this way whichever suits you i'll just show you one you're not going to sit there and watch me weave in all these ends so i'll just show you one so there's your knot right there you're just going to weave it in any way you like you can split the yarn do it any way you want but be careful not to go through all thicknesses just go through bits of it like that splitting the yarn don't pull too tight okay nice and gentle go back the other way in a different section back this way in a different section all right too easier back again in another section so you're doing at least three times whoops don't split that yarn there <laughs> All right, that's pretty much all we're doing for that thread. Weave in those other ends. All right, let's pretend like you've weaved them in. Turn it over. Check out to see if it fits. Or should already have checked it before, but we probably didn't need to because we're all sorted. We pretty much know it was going to fit anyway. Okay, we knew it was going to fit, but there you go. Okay, beautiful. Oh, very nice. I like very much. Give it a bit of a tug and now that's in spot. Go ahead and do the other buttons off air and meet me up in a moment. All right, here we go. We have got all our buttons on. So what I want you to do is do your buttons up. And it doesn't matter if they went on a little bit crooked. Don't stress, it doesn't matter. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay. Ugh. Nice and tight buttons, that means they're not going to come undone. Okay, because you're going to pull your little pico edges down. How gorgeous are these pico edges? And then if you find it's a little too crooked, just stretch it out to the way you want it to go. How gorgeous, 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 gorgeous does it look? You have now, guys, completed your first side of the pillow. Yay! <laughs> yeah, okay. I have to admit, when I did mine, I actually washed and blocked it before I attached it to the other side. I do admit that. I actually admit to washing and blocking the pieces separately first, then adding them together, then washing and blocking it as is this way. Now, that's just me being very fussy. Um, you don't need to, and I'm not going to do it with this one because I don't want to stress everybody out, okay? But look at the Pico. I love it, love it, love it. I know the lighting in here does not do it justice, but when we do our vlog this weekend, you will see it in full, okay? So thank you very much for joining me for part four of our pillow cover. Um, it's actually the end of the front or the back, depending on where you want your pillow to be, of the pillow cover. How gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous does it look? Now, I'm thinking, to be honest with you, I think I may have done a row of slip stitches along here and it actually messed up our pico. I'm not going to do it for this one because these picos look simply gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so... Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so that you can receive further tutorials in your inbox. And next week, we are going to do the spring summer side of our pillow. This is the autumn or fall winter side, um, hence the autumn or winter colours. Okay, And the other side will be the spring summer side. Thank you so much for watching and guess what, guys? Ciao for now. <laughs>